Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today's video we're gonna do Carol G and this is actually for a customer that's going to the concert and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started with this project and if you guys are new here welcome my name is Ernie and I customize just about anything from custom apparel to custom promotional products for your business and today we're gonna do this shirt and uh, we're gonna start off with a regular stencil using regular paper we just printed that out on a regular paper and tape that together cut it out and now we have this beautiful stencil so I'm sure you know who Carol G is if you have not heard of her she's one of the top land singers at this time and she's done a lot of stuff with uh, people like Nicki Minaj, Bad Bunny, Osuna, J Balvin and uh, yeah she's pretty hot right now so let's continue on with this project with a little help from the stencil now we know where things fall in we have great proportion from the eyes to the nose to the lips to the hairline so now we're gonna do everything by hand and I'm gonna start off using uh, black and trying to get all those harsh uh, shadows in there this way I know where things kind of start fall in and we can start shaping our, uh, our painting here I always start with the lighter colors first and at the beginning I normally spray a little bit of yellowish like golden yellowish and then follow it up with like a skin tone and then from there I start adding colors depending on the reference photo. After putting my two layers down of the skin I'm going to continue on with the next one. Uh, the next color is called sand so you can imagine kind of like the type of color that is. Uh, it's a little bit like, uh, like peach but it has brownish at the same time. So I'm going to get some of the broader shadows in there and I'm going to work my way from like the softest shadows down to the harsh shadows. As I mentioned in my previous video, things 10 things I hate about airbrushing is getting messy. Take a look at my hands there. Right now I'm using an Iwata Eclipse airbrush with a super silent uh, compressor 20A and uh, using roughly around 35 to 40 PSI. Even though her hair is going to be straight out red, I sprayed a little bit of pink just to get it out there since I already had it in the airbrush and this allows us to have a little bit of a variation of red and uh, gives us more of a um, I guess like light and shadows and it gives it more depth. All right, let's make this pop a little bit more and apply that red onto the hair. When I airbrush portraits, my process is usually uh, laying down the uh, black with the shadows and then laying down the base coat or like the actual solid colors of like, let's say the face or the hair and stuff like that. And uh, after that, I'll come back with the black again and really put in those shadows once again, making that really pop. And at the end, I'll come back with the white and just bring it all together and put in some highlights like on the lips and the eyes and a little bit on the hair and the text. This particular project was a super rush. It came in at the last minute. I was literally leaving uh, to go out of town and had a few hours to work on it and get it delivered for that weekend. And of course, I was leaving that same day, so I had to get it done. Just a quick tip for all you new beginners out there, uh, don't be afraid to put in that color. So layer that color up, put it in there. Don't be afraid and try to spray it all lightly. If the thing is black, spray it black. If it's like, you know, whatever color, like red, put a lot of layers of red in there so it really pops. Don't be afraid to put that color in there um, because you can always layer it up with a different color or you can come back with a little bit of, of white and put some highlights later on. Uh, so don't be afraid and put that color in because you want it to not only last, but to look really nice and really, really pop. All right, everything's looking pretty good. The foreground is almost done. 
I want to complete um, the majority of the art and we can put details later on so I want to go ahead and add uh, the background color now and I think blue would be perfect it goes with the old hairstyle and blue goes great with uh, red and it's a complementary color so it's gonna really make her stand out so we're gonna add a little bit of a glow behind her and of course add some hearts and a few additional uh, little things to make it uh, tie in together All right, and everything is looking pretty good. We got some good contrast all the way around. We got some nice coloring. So all we gotta do now is apply some highlights and we're gonna go all over uh, the different areas, obviously on her face, on her hair, on her text, and maybe on the background, put a little bit of flare back there. Uh, this way it all ties in together. Guys, and we're getting closer to the end right now. But before we do that, I wanna let you know that I have an Etsy shop. You can check out all the stuff in the link down in the description below. And of course, you can leave me a comment here and let me know what you guys think of this particular shirt. I always like to hear from you guys. We are almost to the end. We are doing a lot of layers of white and uh, trying to allow that to dry in between each layer. This way, each layer gets brighter and brighter and brighter. The fabric itself absorbs a lot of paint, so I want to be able to uh, preserve that white as, as much as possible. So make sure you dry in between each layer. And I'm gonna call this one done. I think it came out really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final shirt. Guys, that's gonna be it for this video and hopefully you guys enjoy the process I'm gonna go back inside and pack because I gotta get going and I always hate to uh, leave all these uh, nice uh, you know projects as soon as I finish them they leave and I don't get to enjoy them but at least I have a reference video to look at uh, of all the work that I've done so uh, if you get any pieces from me make sure to tag me on Instagram or here on Facebook or anywhere else for that matter so hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video and take it easy for now bye bye